Seven here. Oh, uh, your mic did weird things. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, but uh, hey guys, flying boy here. Um, I got Ninja Blue with me, and yeah. we're watching the directs yeah. because Nintendo just threw a direct at us, and well, we both haven't seen it yet, so we're watching it. Yeah, I really want to see it right yeah, now. Yeah, I really want to see it. Oh. Yeah, so honestly, I don't really know what to expect. There's definitely some interesting stuff from what I've heard, but I honestly don't know, like, what we are... So... Yeah, there's only two things I want to know about. Yeah. Smash DLC. Smash DLC. And then, uh, Breath of the Wild 2. Wild 2. Oh, yeah, Breath of the Wild 2. I forgot about that. Yeah. I think that's yeah. probably getting delayed a lot, so... I mean, maybe. I don't know. Probably 2021. Probably 2021. Yeah, probably, yeah. Alright, um, alright, let's start it, uh, three, two, one, now. COVID-19. COVID-19. Oh, no, no, that's the demonetization word, you can't say that. No, we can say that, we can't say the, uh, blank virus. No, we can't! <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Long ago, two great titans came into existence. Oh, this is Xenoblade. Yeah. The Bionis yeah. and the Maconis. I never actually played Xenoblade. The titans were locked in a timeless battle. Oh. Oh. If the capital is on the shoulder, there are people there. I thought you'd want to go. The ultimate version of a modern classic, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. On Nintendo Switch, the game looks better and plays smoother than ever before. The battle HUD and menu screens are easy to read and easy to use. And some of the music has been re-recorded. Now you can fully immerse in the majesty of this vast world. And a new epilogue, a new story. Future Connected will cap off the main game. So if you've played and loved the original game, you can not only revisit it, but look forward to one more adventure with Shulk. Good thing I came prepared. You know, we'll good, probably be needing this. Guy. Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition launches on May 29th, and you can pre-purchase the game starting today. Also, coming on May 29th, yeah. the Xenoblade Chronicles yeah. Definitive Works set will pack in a 250-page oh, art book. Gotta get that. Oh, gotta get that. I am a Hi bit everyone, behind. and welcome to Nintendo Direct Mini. We've got news on upcoming Nintendo Switch games, and we're focusing on a selection of them coming out this year. Now, let's roll through some headlines, shall we? Live your best deserted island life thanks to this free update. Enjoying island life in the Animal Crossing New Horizons game? Well, whether you're already living it up on the island, or you're still planning your departure. There's an event coming up and we're happy to spill the beans. Er, crack the eggs? You see, after downloading the free update we made available at launch, one zipper T Bunny will visit your island in celebration of Bunny Day in early April. K 
Can you hunt down the egg zipper head everywhere? Plus, you can craft these special limited time items from the egg series. The Bunny Day event only comes once a year, this time from April 1st to April 12th, so be sure to participate. And guess what? There's another free update coming later in April. It'll usher in some newly added features, including the Earth Day event. Of course, we'll continue to bring you the latest on updates and more via the official Animal Crossing Twitter account, and other channels too. So, stay tuned. At least it's better than Amiibo Festival. We hope you enjoyed the updates and everything else about your life on the deserted island. Hey look! Someone's hiring! Oh, this is your dad's company? Apparently they offer a wide range of services. The job description entails many responsibilities. You'll deliver items, mop the floor, and maintain a comfortable work environment. Yes. Let's go. Mop They're course. trusting yeah. you with crane yeah. operation and other <laughs> tough tasks. <laughs> For more creative solutions, do what you need to do to get the job done. Just just join the building. Oh, Coming to Nintendo build. Switch. Oh no. Oh. Contemplating oh. the next step in his relationship okay. responsibilities. Sure won't okay. do. Hopefully you're ready to join the team well, and be like put to work immediately. <laughs> because good job launches today. I think it may be a head now. A free update for the Wait, Ring Adventure game oh, will pump like up audio. its audio. Oh, it's like just dance. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Mix things up with the new rhythm game mode. If you want to set a high score, you gotta get your body moving to the beat. Speaking of, there are 17 music tracks in the rhythm game. We're talking music from Super Mario Odyssey, Splatoon 2, and The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And we fit! On top of that, yeah. I exercise uncomfortable, just uncomfortable in general. I feel my power returning! Your companion, Ring, will now have a female voice option. Nicely done! No, it's just a female voice. And you'll also be able to change languages. Feel free to change it up in the settings whenever you want. We're also adding in a new jogging option in both the custom and quick play modes. When you're not in a battling mood, you can simply run through a variety of fields. This free update for the Ring Fit Adventure game will be available today. Alright, time to dust off the Ring Fit. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate News approaches. The fighter included in Wave 6 of the paid Super Smash Bros. Ultimate DLC will be... Okay. Oh, yeah. Joining the battle from Wait, arms. Wait, but Spring Man's already in his This fighter is a bit unusual thanks to those extendable arms, so we'll have to extend okay, our development right. time too. Please stay tuned for just uh -huh. a bit longer. The next uh -huh. fighter will be announced and released Wait. this June. Wait, hold on, that's confused. Like, there's no way it's not Spring Man. It's 100 percent Spring Man. Don't right. miss this arms game trial. A free game trial of ARMS will be available exclusively to Nintendo Switch Online members. These elite fighting superstars share one thing in common, extendable ARMS. So equip super-powered ARMS to create a slew of combinations. For a limited time, you can try out the full game for free. Now, let's get stretchy! Feeling good? Well, alright. Then how about we take a nice long look at Bravely Default 2. Uh, where, where am I? Can't believe I survived.
fire, water, wind, earth, nature's masters. The great stone's power exceeds the hand of man. And if unleashed, would bring down death, disaster, calamity and blight upon the land. Heroes of light, may the crystals guide you. This is the crystal's blessing. Don't no swear to details, eh? And don't stand on ceremony either. If I've helped even one person, then I've done the right thing. So have 10 minutes left. So Tabletop minutes. classics from around the world will come together on Nintendo Switch. Presenting every single game included in this massive new collection of fun from around the globe. Menkala, Hanafura, Backgammon, Renegade, Checkers, President, Dominus, Speed, Heron Hounds, Blackjack, Four in a Row, Chess, Shogi, Mini Shogi, Ludo, Richie Mahjong, Sevens, Golf, Darts, Texas Hold'em, Nine Men's Morris, Air Hockey, War, Carom, Chinese Checkers, Yacht Dice, Takoyaki, Billiards, Hex, Spider Solitaire, Gomoku, Matching, Bowling, Shooting Gallery, Slot Cards, Dots and Boxes, Hit and Blow, Pig's Tail, Mahjong Solitaire, Last Card, Fishing, Klondike Solitaire, Toy Tennis, Toy Soccer, Toy Curling, Toy Boxing, Toy Baseball, Battle Tanks, Team Tanks, Sliding Puzzle, and Six Ball Puzzle. Phew, that really is 51 games. And there are many ways to play them. Some games are multiplayer, including options for up to four people, playing via local wireless, and in some cases, online play is supported too. Choose three games, match up with other players, and just play. Play to your heart's content against rivals the world over. When Clubhouse Games 51 Worldwide Classics launches on Nintendo Switch June 5th. Pre-purchase right. begins today. Will the real Master Ninja please stand up? Oh, so you're the ultimate ninja, are you? Well then, prove it in battle. As one of eight players, you must earn the most points to claim victory. Sprint across stages and show off your gum ninsu like only you can. By chewing ninja gum, you can sell and wield an arsenal of skills. And speaking of arsenals, from heady hitting hammers to fast and flashy katanas to tactical tricked out yo-yos, your choice of equipment could mean the difference between domination and defeat. Ninjas thrive in clans, so cement your supremacy in four-on-four -four team battles that prove ninjas are most clever when they work together. Will your efforts right. end in gummy disaster? Right. Or prove you're the master? Is that just yeah. me? When Ninjala yeah, sneaks up it. on Nintendo Switch it. May 27th. And hey, it's free to play too. Hey, this is free. Hey, is free. Check out what you can play on Nintendo That's Switch. Oh, well, Enter Luke Skywalker's that. Jedi Ninjala. Academy right. to learn the ways of the Force. Customize your look, play a role in the Star Wars story, and battle online with up to 16 players. Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy launches on Nintendo Switch today. Well, it's been fun, but today's an Now for the latest information on the Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass. With an expansion pass, the world of the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield games will grow. The sprawling island in the sea, the Isle of Armor, and the frozen snowscape known as the Crown Tundra will be accessible in the Gala region. It's a new adventure to embark on with new people to meet along the way. Today we have some follow-up information about Part 1, the Isle of Armor. On the Isle of Armor and about Part 1, the Isle of Armor. On the Isle of Armor lies a dojo for Pokemon battles, where trainers gather to master their skills. 
And if you train at this dojo, you will receive the legendary Pokemon Cub Fu from the Master Mustard. Through your training with Cub Fu, you will receive permission to challenge the Towers of Two Fists on the Isle of Armor. In this challenge, you will enter one of two towers, the Tower of Darkness or the Tower of Waters. You may only choose one, and you and Cub Fu must face this challenge alone. Once you've conquered one of the towers, Cub Fu will evolve into Urshifu. If you choose the Tower of Darkness, it will learn Single Strike Style. But if you choose the Tower of Waters, it will learn Rapid Strike Style. Dark or Water. The choice is yours and yours alone. Beyond that, the evolved form of your partner Pokémon, be it Rillaboom, Cinderace, or Inteleon, will gain a Gigantamax form as a reward for your adventure on the Isle of Armor. So, let's take a look at each Pokémon's Gigantamax form moves. Beating a giant drum and controlling its roots, it's G-Max Drum Solo! Kicking a giant ball of fire to deliver a powerful shot, it's G-Max Fireball! And blasting the opponent with water from 130 feet up, it's well, G-Max Hydro Snipe. These moves are stronger than Dynamax moves, and when used, the opponent's abilities have no effect when they're attacking. Oh wow. In addition to new outfit items and hairstyles, there will also be new League card backgrounds, effects, and frames. Now you'll have even more customizations to use to show off your personality. Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass Part 1, The Isle of Armor, will launch by the end of June. Also, for those of you who purchased the Expansion Pass, we've prepared this early purchase bonus you can receive by August 31st. Starting today, during Max Raid Battles in the Wild Area, you'll have a higher chance of encountering the Gigantamax forms of Caparaja and Duraludon in Pokemon Sword, Oh wow! and Garbodor and Charizard in Pokemon Shield. Battle with other trainers to take on this challenge together. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct Mini. Thanks for watching. All right. All right. Um. All right. So overall, like, I kind of like rating these now. Like, like if you had to rate that. I like, mean, it's just a mini direct. I mean, it's just a mini direct. Yeah. And I give it maybe like. I mean. I'd say for the circus, I in in general, I'd say maybe like a seven out of ten. Yeah, I was but gonna for say the seven. circumstances, yeah, I give it a nine. Because, like, they had a lot of... They, they talked about a lot of stuff that people wanted them to talk about. Yeah. We're getting an ARMS character in Smash. Yeah. Totally Spring Man. So, like, that's actually kind of blowing my mind right now because... Because it's an ARMS character, and Spring Man is already an assist trophy and already a uh, spirit. It's bite and bark. It's bite and bark. <laughs> like that's the thing, though. That's what I'm confused about. Like the five main, uh, the five main us uh, characters are all spirits or assist trophies. Springman's an assist trophy and a spirit, and then Ninmin's a spirit. Uh, Tintal's a spirit. Uh, Ninjara's a spirit. Uh, Ribbon Girl's a spirit, and then Springman's a spirit. So that's like the five main characters from the game all spirits which begs the question who's it going to be if spirits do deconfirm do spirits deconfirm do assist trophies deconfirm and what's the spirit board going to look like pretty much this so, is kind of saying if spirits deconfirm or not yeah but it also might go deeper do assist trophies deconfirm because i am 90 percent sure now that this is a character from arms that it, that spirits don't deconfirm which makes my things that the possibility of bandanity opens itself up again. Now, if it winds up being someone like Master Mummy or Mechanica or like Kid Cobra, or bite and bark. then my heart kind of sinks because then that kind of seals the deal. But honestly, I'm kind of excited. I'm more of ex I'm more excited over the implications of what this reveal could be 
than the actual reveal, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I'm actually really excited. And it might get revealed earlier than June, actually, too, because if the uh, chance that the, Zidemon- that the demonetization virus ever um, gets uh, gets put under control by then. But, uh, I mean, overall, I'd say that was pretty good. Yeah, it was a pretty solid yeah, mini-duet. Alright, so, um... Just gotta wait for thanks E3. Thanks for watching, man. That's Flying Boy. Thanks for watching. And, um, can we still get Amaterasu in Smash? That'd still be cool. I want that a lot. <laughs> and right. this is Ninja and Blue 27 is signing out. I'm not giving up on we'll Sam. I'm not giving up on Sam. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll see you in a future video. Maybe we can get together if, you know, this thing stops. Yeah. Alright. Bye. Yeah. Bye.